So I have a very specific opinion on this. I work with a lot of organizations in relation to large scale organizational strategy. So the engagement strategy for 180,000 people or the people strategy for our entire organization. And I think one of the critical things that organizations completely miss is the idea that uh, people are not simply gonna believe in something because you are telling them that it's your value. Um, I think that organizations actually need to get a lot better with understanding the psychology of motivation and emotions. And in the context of this conversation, of really appreciating that individuals are more likely to live an organization's values if they feel that their own personal values can be expressed in those organizational values. So this is really critical because a lot of times organizations create a sense of value but they or what their values are but what they don't do is help people to make a link, an explicit link between what I as an individual value and how that can be expressed. So I recently worked with an organization where we developed a um, online tool within the organization to help individuals to think about this is the organization's value, these are my values, how can my value of caring about people be expressed in this organization's value of cooperation in a way that helps individuals to be more connected with where the organization is. And I think that this is really important because every single organization that I know is having conversations about how do we be more adaptive? How do we be more flexible? And yet the conversation that is not happening is that you do not get an adaptive, agile organization without adaptive, agile people. And there is an essence that needs to happen here, which is the cultivation and helping individuals to be adaptive and agile. Yeah. So organizations making sure they hire people that have got similar congruent values to themselves. Because Richard Reed, a guy from Innocent Drinks, I don't know if it ever got over to the USA, but he said the number one thing you can do to impact your culture is to hire is the people you hire. The people that you hire and the values that they bring into the organization, you've got to allow them to be authentic. Um, yeah, I mean, I think what can happen a little bit is if you only hire people to culture is you can sometimes get into situations of groupthink and you actually don't have the mavericks that you sometimes need yeah. in an organization. But what you do need is you need to be able to f help individuals to find ways to express their authentic, important selves, what's important to them in the organizational context. Perfect. And then you maybe one of the values is we hire people that think differently, like the old... Yes. No,